Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this is going to be my first hair tutorial. I know everyone and their mother has asked me for a washing room routine. I don't know why I've never sat down and talked about my hair or anything like that. Well, I do know because you guys, some people may be aware I've had some hair trauma the last like few years and I'm just like, I can't talk about my hair. It's going to make me too sad. And my hair is in a place that I'm definitely more comfortable with talking about it. So I've decided that I'm going to start incorporating hair tutorials into my channel. So I hope that you guys are into those. Um, I have been natural my entire life. So I do know one or two things about natural hair. And I am pretty basic when it comes to styling my hair. I kind of just let it be, let it be as it grows. I do dye my hair, obviously, and these roots are killer. And I will be going into the salon soon to dye them. But I try to keep my dye into like every four to five months. So I kind of just let my hair rock. So I just sat down, I washed my hair earlier today, and I wanted to just go through a few of the products that I use and how I basically style my hair so it looks like this. It's no crazy routine, guys. So don't feel it's going to be overwhelming. It's just going to go through the few products that I use and how I achieve my frizzy puff. So I hope that you guys like it, and if you like these types of videos, just give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below, and I will keep them coming. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video, and I'll see you guys next time. So this is what my hair looks like out of the shower. Um, it did dry out a little bit while I was doing my makeup, so I just applied a little bit of cool water to it, but it doesn't have any product in it at all. So the first thing that I do, I just apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I do this step almost every single day. That's basically the only product that I use to maintain my curls. Every once in a while, I will use like a refresher spray or a few different other products that I liked, but a leave-in conditioner is definitely my go-to. So one of my favorite leave-in conditioners is the one by Garnier. This is their whole blends. I used to use their regular um, leave-in conditioner, which is the one for drier damaged hair, but I rotate between this one, this is the whole blends, and I also really like the deeper curl leave-in conditioner. So I know some people think that that's a lot of product, but that's what works for my hair. So I just basically start in the front, and I start combing that through. Then I just kind of section it out, make sure that it's all soaking up. And I like go through because I see the pieces that will be frizzy if I don't like tame them. So I just take a little bit of extra product and I kind of like reshape those curls. I definitely need to re-dye my roots. It's been a little bit, but I try not to dye my hair too, too often um, just because I don't want to over-process or damage my hair. So then the next product that I use, this is the Wella Anti-Frizz Smoothing Balm. I just grab about three pumps of this and I do the same thing, lightly going through my hair. And this is when I start squishing my hair up. And then the last product that I always use is the Wella Extra Volume Super Hold Voluminizing Mousse. Now, I just use a little bit of mousse. I try not to use too much of it because most mousses dry out your hair. But this one is mostly water-based. So that's why I like the Wella one. Then I just take... Not too, too much of that because I, I don't like my hair to be like super hard or really, really defined or crunchy. I do like some frizz in my hair. So I just go through and disperse that. So those are the three products that I always use. If I want my curls to be really, really defined, I'll grab a little bit of the Miss Jessie. This is the Coily Custard and you literally have to use like that much like no product so i'll apply the miss jesse coily custard just on the curls around my crown area some people are very like anti-frizz they don't want their hair to have any frizz at all i personally don't mind like that's just you know my curls and that's my texture i have curls with a lot of frizz and i kind of embrace that so I do like my curls to be like semi-defined, but I do like a little bit of frizz because that's what gives me my volume. So I'm just going to let this dry. I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then I'll be back and show you guys what I do after it's mainly dry. So at this point, I just let it sit. 
I usually let my hair air dry every once in a while. I may use a blow dryer quickly just to kind of semi dry my hair and then I just let the rest air dry. But 99% of the time, I just let my hair just do its thing. Okay, so now that it is completely dry, um, it took maybe like an hour and a half to two hours to dry on its own. So then I just take them in sections and I just pull the curls so that some of that harder product kind of breaks up. So I just basically go through and just loosen up the curls a little bit. So I have to do that. Then I just take my fingers and I go into the roots. Basically just puffing and separating it. Now, if you don't like your hair as puffy or as frizzy as I like mine, then you would obviously skip this step, but I just basically go in and separate the curls. So I'm kind of pulling this down while pulling this up. So I'm gonna show you guys one more trick and then we'll basically be done. So for first day hair, I usually like to stretch the back of my hair because this texture is a little bit more coarse. So my curls are more coils than they are curls. So I just take the bottom section and I try not to disturb the curls so much down there. And I just give it like a tight pull. And I'm not separating the curls down there. I do most of the separating on the top. I just pull this entire section down. Then I just take a scrunchie and tie it pretty tight. Okay, so I just let that sit for like five minutes. So this is my final wash and go hair. Um, it's completely dry, pretty frizzy, <laughs> pretty big. That's how I like to wear my hair. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you do like these types of hair videos, just leave me a thumbs up and I'll start incorporating more into my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.